So in this tutorial, we're going to look at the second section, which is um, the green bit at the top turns and starts to each cheese up until when the match trap slam shut. So <clears throat> if we put the video on, <clears throat> we can see it's almost split up into two different sections here. We've got the bit where the, the mouse is happily eating the cheese. And then about halfway through or towards this bit here, we can see that the mouse starts to creep onto the trap. And that's where we want to create tension before the screen goes completely blank. So to start this bit, I'm going to open up a new track. <clears throat> and if I go onto my OneNote, I can have a look at the suggested sounds. And I'm gonna go for this one to start off with, tremolo. So violin, section one tremolo. So I type in violin, section one, and there it is. So I don't want to add too much tension at the beginning of my scene. So all I'm going to do for the beginning is hold down the C chord. And um, I'm going to take it up an octave on the keyboard. There we are. So I'm just going to record that in. And all I'm going to do is hold that down for this point. So here we go. Now, when the mouse steps on the trap, I'm going to add a few clashing notes. I'm going to add a few. Like that. And that went on a little bit long, so I'm going to just cut that down. So it stops at exactly the point where the trap slams shut. Now, to add even more tension, I could think about adding a crescendo. So if I go to this button at the top here that says show hide automation, and if I click on it, I can create a crescendo by putting some dots on this. So if I put a dot here on the line and a dot there, and if I drag this down, it's gonna create a crescendo. It's gonna start really quiet. And then as this whole section progresses, it gets louder and louder. I can make it even louder up here. Brilliant. Okay, so I think when I when the mouse steps on the trap, I want to add some really low notes. So I'm going to use bass section legato here. So once again, I press that button, make sure it's default, click create, and then I just simply type in bass section. There we are. Okay, so around this point here where I added these clashing notes, I'm going to bring in a really low bass note. So that's really going to add sort of tension and a little bit of a, a sinister edge to this scene. So let's do that now. So I'm going to record that. And then just as he steps on, I'm going to add those really low C notes. So about here. Um, I could also add a drum roll. So let's have a look. I've got my timpani tremolo crescendo. So once again, type in timpani. That's the one. And this is one of those big uh, drums you get in an orchestra. So if I play it to you, uh, let's get one off there. You hold it down and it gets longer and longer. So. Let's add that onto the end here. There we go. So if we have a listen to this scene so far, I've got my tremolo strings, my bass, my timpani, and this is how I've created tension in the section. So I might want to add something else to this section here. the tension, I've got it getting louder and louder. And there we are. It stops right at the point where I want it to, uh, the music to end there. Okay, so that's a few ideas to show how you can add tension to the green section.